This is the first time I see Viking missing Sejuani is odd. So I guess she's trying to dance, but this dance is very, very dangerous. So here it's just roaming around, and now it, this is it. Just Mindraga is alive, but, but it was just because he was not there. Look at that poor bee. No. Yeah. No. He just accepted his fate on that no. one, didn't he? I just Make feel sure so. that none of them are safe from what should be a monster in the mid lane. But this is the full Giyu show on the left, and the full don't let the Giyu show happen on the right. I want to discuss with you because I mean I, I know Varus is this this kind of fate carries that can you know adjusting to Yarnan's other line. champion pool. You need a team that adjusts to you, and that, I'm getting that, that game from Legion lineup. Wait, that, shout outs to that game of Legion lineup because it was like, crazy. Okay, it was crazy. I mean, Knight knows how much I love him, and he's not gonna feel offended if I say this. But that was a lineup that basically had zero hands, but had like the highest IQ of like any ERL team at that point. And if you want to talk about adjusting to what your team needs, they could always find champions that they could play that got them map control. But what yeah. they, back then, when Sartorius was yeah. in the league and I'm trying to remember exactly the team name that he was Okay, on that time. was a nice her quick time about to die and he's ignited. Sorry to interrupt you. No you problem. Go on. The ECAP interrupted me with an insane uh, performance. He actually has a really a strong root. reputation as well in Arabian League. Um, they sometimes call him D Gapped. Um, because it gets <laughs> like that when he's on okay. these kind of aggressive champions. Uh, you're totally like it because Viking is looking for a dive and yeah. time is so yeah. chung down. Viking, maybe not grabbing the kill in there, but going for one. And Sejuani, you know, how to is. she's almost an assassin and he's going to be the first grab for Viking. Now the nice grab from the side of the gap, the de gapped mean dragon. All the fill is him. So now. But even I got caught off guard by this, even though I've watched this for a long time. A lot of the meta gets made. In those oh my gosh, this leagues. is very he dangerous. Did. You have no flash, and D Gap has D Gap again. That's going to be another kill, and I think they are going to try to give it away to the rain that grabs quick timers live. And the wave is just in a position. As base, you just can't do it. You have to phase rush short trades and get out, or on wins those. Really good matchup understanding again from GK. Off of the gaps on the bot lane, they easily get this straight. No! Quick Timer wants this fight. No, Quick Don't know Timer, why. you missed the hook, you missed the play, and you missed your life right away. And um, yeah, just demolish in the tower, maybe the first plating. So there is just don't care about anything. Uh, we're watching just Nidlo Maokai going going to Midland, but I don't think there is any kill potential onto such areas. He's just chilling, you know. I'll leave him, let, let, let him, oh, let him be. He is going in definitely with the all in. Zergo's using the usual W. Uh, <laughs> I really are dashing and grabbing a kill. The solo kill on the top and the solo ball goes all straight forward to give you 5 and 0 for GK. They are targeting priority, are winning, and are thus able to recall and swap back. And you're forcing GK to keep swapping back, but they haven't found now it. Now they are trying to force into Sartorius. Sartorius flashing away, knocking the horse onto the onto the wall. And in the 2 it one Sartorius and Viking, you know, they feel strong enough. The cap is there to help the, the ultimate from the side of Sejuani on the trying to disengage but not enough the cap using the ultimate to take down the tree you're chopping the yeah. tree with pike's ultimate so here it takes the pike's life flashing away trying to save the, his own life tense situation in there because the reef herald is just abandoned look at that eye disappearing 7 a.m were able to claim that neutral objective but they were not allowed to grab it back so here okay no, okay, we are going to kill Zahira to tanks, the best assassins in the game. Jays, okay, he's away. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> tanks are kind of in that state and they have been for a while, <laughs> it is true. It is. I true. mean, really, really sad for Jays this game. Oh, no, it's again. over. Decap is never stopping. No ult necessary from the side of Decap. Why? Giyu's aggression against him. He's setting up in case I really decides to all in Zergov, so we should see a bait attempt. No, Zahir, you never jump forward because the Juan is always there. Look at this. It's they didn't need to carry. They are just enough oh for themselves. So here is gonna be taken down by Orin. Giyu maybe in a terrible situation. The two he one in the top lane trying to snip snip him, but you know, Noodle right. is a Maokai and he ha. Point and click, see, see. There's not being allowed to take a kill or something. 
Like Seraph finally Ren is immune, and that ultimate is on the Phalo cooldown. Rin had to use his ultimate as well. They're at least able to get priority for this, but the gap is here. The all in is the happening. Is here and Orn is happening as well. The knockup not connecting, and Noodle get, manages to get away. Ooh, the tower was really, really, really close. Viking okay. is coming from the side on the ultimate just. As if it was point and click, he never misses. I never get yeah. his Viking so far in this game. Miss a single ultimate with Sejuani. Yeah, X with all Oh, no! Nah, look at them having Viking also in a Super League for, for a while, and he was this kind of champion, he, this kind of player that, that plays uh, for the sake of his teammates. Oh, that's a nice flash and a nice hook, but Giyu is uh, a really hard... Uh, champion to take down and Sahira grabs the shot, shot down. We're watching the gold uh, going to the top side and Noodle maybe is not being able to get away with this. They're leaving the kill to Zidrani because they, they know this is an ultimate. This trade. game in the bag from the second dive on Bob. It is. This is, this is what a hunter looks like. This is what a predator oh, looks like. Look at that hook. I mean, Dika trying to get Sahira and Giyu is there with the stun. Giyu is taking Sahira down. Them. Just decap, just Viking, and just Win being there is more than enough. Prowler's claw coming out on the ballast, by the way. Vega V2 yeah. is smiling from his perpetual Twitter spam. Do you think Saturio's scared? Do you think Saturio's scared? Yeah. Because I don't think Saturio's scared that much. He's going in, but oh just wait because their teammates were gonna be to follow Look. him and give you grabs a kill on Zergoth, and Saturio's is just not caring, as I said. We're calling the Forge God in there oh, in the top lane to play from big time ago in Golden and that to make some time for his teammates to run away and give you grabs and now the kill now. Well, he was in the LFL all that time or in the NLC as well when it was still an accredited league. Um, Sartorius still showing that he knows his damage. He knows his all ins like no one else and Giyu showing he can perform. Decap win, hey. obviously the new incoming guys, but man, Decap's had a game. You just said that you do respect a good play, but this is quite a hell of a play because the tourist is going in and, you know, oh Jiki is God. just smashing and sweeping away 7A and Virus is down though, they, they managed to grab one single kill, but look at that. Uh, Giyu took down quick time as a hero is as well down and Gwen was the one that was ahead, but not enough to deal with GK Fire in this situation. Noodle is the last one standing alongside being Dragger that managed to get to base, but that was a desperate attempt, attempt from the side of 7 a.m. Noodle is trying to make some time, but it's just gonna be not enough. From them, I'm happy to see it done. They're not too bothered 7 a.m. started this because that's another point of contest, and we know who's winning a point of contest at this Absolutely. stage of the game. And more if we can see that they have that in front of soul you were talking about. I like to say that soul is forever and nature is temporary and you need something to stay forever. Quick timer just disappeared. Oh my god, the monster country is back. <laughs> Grabbing on. that kill. Mindrago with a lot of track on the stack, but this just so, so easy to take down. The ultimate just to say hello. Oh, the damage. Respectable though, but you are so behind that they just don't care. Look at this. The curious is G flanking the 7 a.m. team, biking about to die. So here going in, but maybe too bold to this respectful Giyu is just swapping everyone away GK only needs to be sorry uh, for Vikings life but that's just too much I really I stand to uh, virus is 5-1 everyone is just so fed Zergrath maybe he's trying to do oh, something Green flashes away the cop maybe about to die but Zergrath look at this the GK guys are never alone they trust the numbers they trust the gold and they trust uh, the amount of players that they can gather to take down a single kill. Now they're trying to siege the second tower in the top lane, which is always dangerous to siege, but I mean, they are ahead enough to do it. I mean, you can see the alternative reality where the lane swap didn't happen, where Decamp wasn't allowed to just make the entire map his sandbox, um, where the Gwen was allowed to be somewhat even or even ahead and would be a massive threat to the composition of GK. But that is not the world we live in. We live in a world where GK are looking to qualify for the main stage on this very push. They have a siege composition. Yes, you have the Maokai ultimate, but you don't even have the Gwen anymore. The only player on your team that was doing damage. Yes, you can disengage, but are you going to do anything to re-engage from this? Probably I mean, not. And you GK can try to end. disengage, but you literally don't have enough disengage to make that happen. Quick timer is down and uh, Malkai have no all look at this bang it's edge. Just to send just to send a message. Yeah, well. Top inhibitor is going to be taken down by Yiki and Gi allows himself to go forward to go ham onto the affiliates. Affiliates is down I mean he's an emo boy and he's dead. So it just fits. They are trying to right now 
probably looking at one more push for GK. They tried to end it. They probably could have ended it. And they went a bit too deep. But I do respect how deep they went there. This has seen a little bit. They're having fun. Let's and be things real. Are right. And things are right. I don't think so. Right. Here comes the golden gold card. Oh, the knockoff goes in. No. This is a trap. Oh. I sense Quick Timer is in a poor mm. position. Quick Timer is going to die in a quick time. Rain is taking wow. down the skill. The Elder Drake is going to be taken down by the GK guys. Oh, Look at no. DSG, you're going forward with Flash and everything. This is the first time I see Viking missing out. This is the first time I see Viking missing Sejuani is odd. So I guess he's trying to dance, but this dance is very, very dangerous. So here it's just rolling around and now it, this is it. Just Min Draga is alive, but it was just because he was not there. Look at that poor B. No. Yeah. No. He just accepted his fate on that no. one, didn't he? I just feel so bad for Mindragon. Well, this is it. This is GG. There's no one left from the side of 7 a.m. to defend this Nexus, and it's going to be GK's victory, the third in that group. A, they still need one or two more to reach the knockout stage, but it's just looking good for them, veteran. Oh, 100%. I mean, they should feel very comfortable about this victory. Yes, at the end there, it got a little bit scrappy. They got a little bit desperate.